All right, so today we have a clip here of Michael Knowles talking about possible Trump indictment and him being arrested. And uh, Michael suggests that uh, I'll just let Michael tell you. What should the Republicans do in response? I think that a Republican governor, or more precisely, I guess, a Republican attorney general, okay. should arrest a prominent criminal lib. There is no shortage of candidates of prominent liberal politicos who have committed crimes. Uh, so Michael Knowles' uh, response, and I think someone asked a question, asked him a question about, uh, you know, how should the GOP and the conservatives respond to a possible Trump indictment and him being arrested? His response is that the Republican district attorneys should go after prominent criminal libs. He doesn't name any prominent criminal libs. He doesn't name any crimes committed by said prominent criminal libs. He just says that Republican governors should arrest Democrats. That's literally his whole entire defense here. Look around the Clinton circles. Look around the Biden circles. Look at Clinton and Biden themselves. Look at Clinton circles. Look at Biden circles. Look at Clinton and Biden themselves. What Michael Knowles is failing to tell you, which I don't know what he's referring to Hillary Clinton. I'm assuming it's the emails. But what Michael Knowles is failing to tell you is that Hillary Clinton had three FBI investigations into her emails. And all three of those FBI investigations concluded that other than Hillary Clinton being very, very careless, uh, she didn't commit any crimes. She didn't actually do anything illegal. Again, the FBI uh, did come out and say that Hillary Clinton was being extremely careless. And I, I, I agree with that. I think that she was being careless uh, when it comes to the email thing. But three FBI investigations found that she didn't do anything wrong. Um, you know, he says, look at Biden, but like, for what? He's not going to explain it. What are we looking at Biden for? I'm assuming he's going to be talking about Hunter and Hunter Biden. And my response to that is if Hunter Biden has done something or things that are illegal, then he needs to be prosecuted criminally for those things. I don't know if Hunter has done anything illegal, but the other end of that is he can say, look in the Biden circles, Hunter Biden holds no public office, period. He has never held any public office. So I don't understand why they go after him so much. I know he didn't specifically mention Hunter, but he brought up Biden and Clinton. So I don't know because he doesn't explain it. Plenty of big criminal libs out there who have completely gotten off the hook. Plenty of big, <laughs> big criminal libs. <laughs> Who are the big criminal libs? Michael Knowles is acting like the left is like the mob over here. Big criminal libs that get out. They, they just can't. They always get away with it. Like, what? What do you mean? What criminal libs? Big criminal libs, he said. What big criminal libs are constantly getting away with it, Michael? I feel like this dude lives in a Scooby-Doo episode. And there are plenty of Republican governors and attorneys general out there. I think you would need a Republican governor as well as an attorney general, because if the attorney general uh, indicts a big prominent l criminal lib, a big prominent criminal lib, I don't, does he know what he's talking about? Does he even know? Because so far, all he said is, you did it to me, now I'm going to do it to you. But Trump really did something illegal. He really did something that's against the law. He pretty much committed fraud. I'm just going to read this to you guys really, really fast because I found a little blurb on this NBC article about the Trump indictment that uh, literally explained it uh, so, so, so well. And I'm just going to read it really, really fast to get you guys up to speed. Uh, so uh, Michael Cohen, Trump's former personal lawyer, paid Stormy Daniels. Uh, adult entertainer or stripper $130,000 just days before the 2016 election in Cohen's version of events this was done at the direction of his boss Donald Trump because Daniels was on the cusp of going public about an affair she alleges she had with Trump in 2006 Trump while he was at the White House reimbursed Cohen but was has consistently denied the affair the payment of the hush money by itself wouldn't be a crime that's true. In this case, the possible crime is how the payments were documented on the books of the Trump organization according to uh, this former prosecutor who um, worked on a, a, a bunch of these cases and also this case very closely. Uh, Michael Cohen submitted phony invoices throughout 2017 referencing a retainer agreement and requesting payment. Michael Cohen has already went to prison. He served a term in prison for like two and a half or three years or something like that. Then Cohen received a series of checks hand signed by Trump while he was in the White House. The legal problem is that there was no retainer agreement. It was all done to cover up the hush money scheme. The fake documentation of legal expenses on the Trump organization's books could trigger a charge under New York state law, which makes falsifying business 
records a crime. So again, pretty much what Trump did was he committed, in a way, fraud. He was being fraud. He wasn't being honest about what really happened. That's illegal. Michael might not think it's illegal, or Michael might want to look the other way, but that's a real crime. I, If there are real crimes that uh, big, prominent crim libs have committed, I'm open to hearing about that. I'm always open to, uh, you know, hearing things. I, I love to listen, but if you're just going to say shit and not back it up with anything and just throw it out there because you're upset or you're mad, I'm not ever going to take you seriously. Guy's a clown. He's a joke. And, and there's a Democrat governor. The Democrat governor will apply political pressure or eventually probably just pardon the criminal lib. So I think you, you need to have... Like, what, what the fuck is he talking about? Trump is the one who literally pardoned fucking criminals. Who did Trump... My favorite one, Dinesh DeFelon. Donald Trump pardoned Dinesh D'Souza when he literally committed a felony. Dinesh D'Souza literally committed campaign fraud. I call... I, I, you heard... It's like, dude, Trump pardons actual criminals. And then he... Just the way... That, the way that they try to reverse this narrative is weak. It's weak as fuck. Unless you never look anything up and you just take every single thing that's said to you at face value your entire life, I, I don't know how anybody can take this guy or anyone at the Daily Wire serious. I have a Republican governor there as well. But let's do it. Let's let's indict a big criminal lib. Let's, inv let's indict two of them. What? what? Michael? Who are the big criminal libs? He can't name anybody because there are none. What criminal libs? What? It's just, it's just such a stupid term. Cr big criminal libs. They, they I mean, are I'm gonna going use after it, but... our guy. Let's go after five of their guys. Yeah. If they're going to prosecute someone who did something illegal, if they're going to prosecute someone for doing something illegal that we like, we're going to go make up some shit and prosecute someone that didn't do anything wrong because we don't like them back. That's pretty much what he said. That's what he's saying here because he's not even naming people, crimes, anything. He's just saying we should do it back to them because they're doing it to Trump. But again, he committed a crime. There's no risk here. Some people push back against this suggestion. They say, well, we're better than them, Michael. We're, yeah, sure, I think we are better than them. I'm not suggesting we do anything illegal. You are. You really are, though. You're pretty much suggesting that they go and prosecute people that didn't commit crimes. Because you keep, again, saying big criminal libs that get away with it. Who? What? Where? When? Michael, these are questions that need answers. Or unjust. I'm not saying we go after an innocent lib. I'm saying we should go after a... What criminal libs, bro? You're not... I mean, this is the end of the of the clip, but... Criminal lib against whom the law has not been applied. Um, so, uh, I don't really have anything else to say about it. I mean, I just... It's Michael Knowles. I don't, I don't know anymore. I don't know what happened. I, like, I guess that failed acting career really, uh really melted his brain but um that's gonna be it for the video if you guys like the video please hit the like button it helps me out so so much if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button and then press that little bell so you get notified every time i upload a video